Okay, morning everyone. Uh, welcome to a bright, sunny day. I'm a bit chilly out there. Um, well, certainly been an interesting January and uh, welcome to the 1st of February. It looks like it's carrying on the weather um, for the next couple of days. Looks fairly settled with this high pressure. Um, just plonked over here. I'll run through the the next couple of days and see what they look like but they're just bringing in um <clears throat> westerly air mass and the fronts really they, they are just waving all the way across here and they're going across the north of england um for the next couple of days so we're in this west air flow north west northwest i would say um and the isobars are, are sort of reasonably close so it's going to be breezy certainly at flying heights and it's it's settled like that certainly for tomorrow and then friday and you can see all the fronts are just going across um across the top of the country so hopefully we'll have a, a nice you know three four days uh, coming up certainly for this time of year high pressure of 1040 is you know very very high very very stable and settled Okay, so as you would guess from that picture, the TAFs are fairly short. Um, they're just really picking out the the wind. So generally 260, 10 knots, and that ties up with top meteo um, suggestion that it'll be 260, 270 on the ground. Um, scattered at 4,000 feet. I'm sure it's going to be soarable today. Um, local soaring only, I suspect. And then they're giving a a tempo between sort of nine and four o'clock this afternoon of 270 15 gusting 25 so yeah i think it's going to be uh, gusty at times um, and top media is also um, showing that so the upper winds um, westerly i'd say 25 to 30 knots um, yeah, i think uh, other forecasts seem to show the same so fairly steady um, all the way up, look at this little height change um, up to sort of 15,000 feet. And looking at that, it's a, a perfect wave forecast. And it's, that's exactly what you've got. Look at these uh, wave clouds uh, in the Lee of Wales and in the west of England. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get sort of you know, some wave effect all the way down here. You know, might feel like there are any thermals, they're a bit broken at times, um, some sink around, some lift. So yeah, we have had wave climbs here in the past. It's, it's perfect wind direction for it all the way down from Wales. So temperature wise, that I think is going to be what it feels like in the shade, eight, maybe nine degrees. Uh, if you stood out of the launch point, I think it's going to feel a lot colder than that with the wind chill. Uh, yeah, eight nine degrees with a 10 knot wind means it's going to feel like about one or two degrees so pretty chilly out there definitely coat hat and gloves weather and top meteo pretty much picking up this is 10 o'clock what we've we've got now um bits of upper cloud floating around as you can see and then you play that on a couple of hours we start to get cumulus um Still not very pleasant over over Wales, and it stays that way for most of the day. And when we go on to sort of twelve one o'clock, you've still got the upper cloud in various places, but definitely cumulus below that. And if it would be nice if it was four thousand feet, you'd certainly get a a chance of some soaring. Not sure it's going to be the first cross country day of the year. Uh, wind wise, just to to cover that, so that's the main feature of the day. Sort of gusts at 30 feet. They're only picking it up as, as you know, 20 knots, maybe 20, 25 at, at most. Uh, and the upper winds at 1500 feet. And northwesterly, and they're picking up at um, 25 to 30. That seems to be fairly steady. 
2025 throughout the day from the west northwest and you can see it's it's more or less straight down from wales okay so yeah nice day a little bit breezy um, with a slight amount of north in it but on the ground pretty much westerly and a chance of some soaring which will be nice okay so airspace wise great there's nothing in the lasham area um I, I can't see anything that uh, else is going to affect us uh, further afield the article dropping at abingdon and uh, anybody that's flying a powered aircraft really needs to check on that themselves i think it's between 11 and 1400 hours today um and that's about it right operationally uh, we're going to be on 27 and we'll have the cables on the north side with the normal winter setup um the grass is fine we've been operating on it yesterday so uh, the launch point vehicle will be more or less in the the normal place and we're landing on the grass either side do not land on the runway I to give a few people a ticking off yesterday for trying to land on the runway when there wasn't really enough room um an aero towing from the southern edge of the main runway right now here's the downside you've heard the first potential aircraft arriving um over the last sort of 12 hours i've had 17 flight plans from 2ee so i'm not entirely sure what's going on uh, in terms of jet movements but in theory there's a nine o'clock 737 departing along with possibly the king air that's just landed that's dropped a crew off um and there's some arrivals this afternoon 737 arriving at 1500 hours a king air at 1600 and a king air at departing at 1650 but with that many flight plans anything could happen throughout the day uh, i'll be out there and we'll just deal with it when we have to in theory we've only got to get off the runway once um, as the king airs uh, will land over the top of us or depart from in front of us uh, but we'll see how it goes uh, who knows right i think all the gliders are booked today so uh finish your cup of tea make your way to the hangar and we'll see you out there <laughs>